This is a 24 hour variable speed pump schedule. We've got two inch pipes, about 25 feet of resistance to flow, 25 feet of head, about 6.5 PSI at 3200 RPM, which will be the maximum speed that we're operating at here today. What is significant about this schedule is there is no, there's no period of time throughout the day where the speed drops below 45 gallons per minute. That's actually quite a lot. And it's going to result in almost 75,000 gallons of filtered water per day at a cost of about $1.26. And what, what I was saying there is, the, what's significant here is that this would be a good example for swimming pools that have an electric heat pump. Electric heat pumps need to run for long periods of time in order to do their thing. I mean, gas heaters to a lesser extent uh, also need to run for long periods of time, but electric heat pumps especially, long periods of time. And the thing about a heat pump or heater or anything that provides heat into the water, it needs a lot of flow in order to function. Like a salt chlorinator might turn on at 15 or 20 gallons per minute, but a heater is certainly not going to turn on. So it's going to have minimum flow rates that you have to achieve. And that's why this is a good example. This is a 24 hour filtration schedule where there's long periods of time, but at low speeds, but we still have enough speed such that there's significant flow happening through the system, probably enough for a heat pump to be running here. So let's go ahead and look at these numbers here on the system. Two thousand RPM. Forty five gallons per minute. And just about two hundred and eighty watts, top right corner. All right, let's look at twenty five hundred RPM. There's our 61 gallons per minute. Just under 520 watts. Now let's look at that top speed, 3200 for this schedule. Let's take a look at that filter pressure. Let's see that at about six and a half PSI. Seventy eight gallons per minute. Mind the decimal point there, one point zero six, so that's over a kilowatt. That's reading as one thousand sixty watts. look at the power calculations here. Now if you notice a small variation in the numbers, that has to do with voltage supply. Voltage supply is a variable number. As it goes up or down, uh, you know, uh, we're talking about the difference between 230 volts, 235, 240. That changes the power calculations here and that's why you see very small variances, but we should be talking about less than 1% uh, variance overall. So there's the power calculation that arrives us at 9.7 kilowatts of power consumed. You pay for your power by the kilowatt hour, about 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So for 9.7, you're talking about $1.26 or about $37.80 per month. That's where we get the $1.26 value here. 9.7 kilowatt hours of power consumed during the day. And again, this is a great example for a pool that has an electric heat pump which requires long hours at reasonably high minimum flow rates. In this video, we're going to be programming a 24 hour schedule for this Hayward Super Pump variable speed model. And this video in particular is going to be looking at a situation where you have an electric heat pump. Now, 
Every swimming pool is different, and it's very important to understand that. So I can only tell you what my system uh, operates at and what my system needs, and then you can kind of use that information to extrapolate and understand your situation a little bit better. Let's go ahead and get started with this programming, and I'll tell you a little bit more about what I mean as we go. So first, I hit the menu button until we get to the timers menu, hit the right button, or the right arrow, and then that's how we get started here. So timer 1, I want to make a change to, so I press plus to access timer 1. I don't want to change the name, I'm fine with that, but I do want to change the RPM. Right now it's flashing 2500 as you see, and I'm going to dial this down to 2000 RPM because on my system I've already tested that 2000 RPM gives me exactly 40 gallons per minute, and that's exactly what I need for my electric heat pump to operate. This number will be different on your pool if if and depending what gallons per minute you need for your heat pump. Mine was 40 gallons per minute, and so that's what I'm setting it for. If yours is different, your numbers will be different for the RPM here. Now, as for the the time that I'm setting this for, I want my 2000 RPM, which is 40 gallons a minute on my system, to start at 6 a.m., and I'm going to let it run all day long to 6 p.m. And this is where this is where this schedule relates specifically to an electric heat pump because all day long here I want my heat pump to be able to run and I know that it takes 2000, R, uh, 2000 RPM or 40 gallons per minute on my system so there we go I'm set for my electric heat pump to do its thing next we go to timer 2 I want to make a change here not the name but I want to adjust my RPM to 3200 there we go and this is just for one hour that I want to do this so I'm gonna set this to 6 p.m. there we go and then of course 7 p.m. you can also just hold down the button I'm just impatient there we go 7 p.m. Seven days a week, again, is what I want. And that's timer two. Moving along to timer three. Press up to make a change to timer three. Right, because I don't want to change the name. I do want to change the RPM. And I'm going down to 2000 RPM again. There we go. And then I want that to operate from 7 p.m. seven PM there we go until eleven PM Rem remember every pool is different this is just an example alright so that's timer three proceeding to timer four and then I want to change that thirty two hundred actually thirty two hundred is exactly what I want so I'm going to leave the 3200, but I'm going to change the time from 11 p.m. until midnight. And what I'm doing here is I'm just giving it an hour at the higher speeds because I think the pool will benefit from having that. There we go with speed or with timer four, and now we're in timer five again. I want to make a change here not the name. I do want to change the RPM back down to 2500. There we go, 2500. And then I want to go from midnight until 6 a.m. And that completes my 24 hour dynamic schedule. So I hit uh, or advance here because I do want it seven days a week. Timer five, I had, there was a setting in here already. I'm gonna go ahead and change this here. Oh wait, there we go. Timer six, sorry. Timer six is off, timer seven's off, timer eight's off. There we go. Press menu, and now we have to press the plus button to save the programming that we've just installed. Once saved, the pump's going to restart at the new programming that we've just entered. 
If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.